My name is Willie Grujon. I'm a New York City paramedic, and I'm a single father to Chloe Grujon, my 12-year-old daughter. Last year, when the Omicron was uh, sweeping through New York City, I had um, I got COVID, and I wasn't able to see my daughter at all for Christmas. You know, so that was really hard on me. We have like long traditions of you know, even if we have money or we don't, we make sure we decorate the place, we spend time together, and that's all that really matters. But I had to sacrifice that last year because I couldn't get conscious, spend time with her and get her sick too. Chloe has always loved Christmas. And I mean like she's the type of kid that still believes in magic. When I see her face, when we put up the lights and we fire up the Christmas tree and all the decorations are up, there's a sparkle in her eyes, you know, I, I see it probably all the time of year that I really truly see that more than anything else. Since I missed last year, you know, this year, I plan to do as much as possible, you know, putting up the tree in the house, putting up ornaments, you know, wrapping up presents, the whole process. Decorating gets expensive. We'll have to just do what we can with the money we have, you know, with inflation and whatnot, I'm sure it's not gonna be easy. I am so happy that I'm finally to the point in the show that I can mention that we are working so proudly and with so much love with Balsam Hill to share all of these holiday decorating tips. So I'm a real tree girl typically, and I am so in love with these faux trees. A, because they're sustainable. We can use these over yes, and over, over, and, and, over. over. and a if couple necessary. of Christmases, it pays for itself, and then it's basically a free tree for the rest That's of your right. life. What I miss is the scent. So what you can do when you do have a faux tree is you just take some distilled water and you add, we have right here some balsam fir, some cypress, some eucalyptus, any essential oil, Isn't blah, blah, brilliant? blah. And you just spray the heck out of it. Spray it, and I swear you will smell it. Spray all your ornaments. If I can leave you one tip today that I've learned with so many years at the White House with all these professional decorators, is when you attack the tree, you decorate from the very inside, the darkest yes. part of the tree yes, out. out. Go in the darkest right. part and bring the reflective, glittery pieces yes. like a chandelier, and you just stuff it in here. You just get way back there. You bring your lights in there, and when you see this tree, this is the difference between having a tree with sprinkles on it, that's where everything's on the outside, or having a sculpture. We're gonna bring these ribbons from the vertical down. So where we snap these and we just pucker them with a little bit of craft wire, you can even use, you know, ornament hangers, and you just cinch and go down, top to the bottom. Wrap it maybe five, six layers of vertical ribbon. Not everybody has a mantle with a big old roaring fire hearth. So think about all those ledges in your house around your window tops. Bring the garland to those little nooks and cranny of home. You can even run it down your dining table if you want. It doesn't right, or have on your to kitchen be shelves anywhere. In, in your kitchen shelves, and then you bring your flameless candles. You can grab one too. I love these too. I love flameless them so candles. much. They're like forever, yes. This is pink peppercorns and cranberry. It's gorgeous. So instead of hanging on the door or on the wall, this is a great centerpiece for your dining table, your coffee table, any surface in the house. You simply just bring these flameless guys right back, put it in the middle, fill up that donut hole. And if you want to do a little extra, I love to bring photographs of everyone who's there, everyone who's passed on, and bring them to Christmas too. So I stick them in here, and it's a great conversation piece. Every single piece that you guys see here is handcrafted trees greenery ornaments is all from balsam hill so i want to give them a big thank you and we because love we couldn't have done this without them we have mac from balsam hill here mac oh, there he is <laughs> yay mac Great to see you. <laughs> okay first of all i couldn't be a bigger fan here get over here with him <laughs> How so, it, it, he's got something to share with you guys, but I can't tell you how much I love and adore everything that you've provided to our team here and Genevieve to share with not only this family, but with all, all of our audience. It's so beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You brought us such joy today. We are so grateful for all the work that you do and so excited about your budding career in interior design. And we have a surprise for you. You see everything here in the studio? Yeah. We have a truck loading up downstairs with all of this and more to send home with you. Look, there's your truck. Look at your truck. I think you'll be able to share with a few friends too, it looks like. That's a really big truck. That's a really big truck. How are you guys? feeling about the holidays now? Uh, uh, we're definitely a lot more excited about it. 